Full Diaper Alchemist. Howdy, howdy, everybody. How we doing? We're back with more Darkwood. One second, just making sure everything's good. For example, oh. there we go. Okay. <laughs> I was like, oh no. <laughs> yeah welcome back everybody we're here with some more darkwood i still want to finish this and dead space remake that we started during our halloween week um and then when we get those done we'll go back to our regular you know sunbreak on the weekends and then during the week we'll do our main game like always but yeah i feel like we're getting really close to beating really close to beating darkwood um so i think we're gonna be able to finish that today if all goes well you know yeah, we were going to do Sunbreak Saturday yesterday, but Cryptic's not feeling well still, unfortunately. And I was going to do, like, you know, just more Darkwood and all that, like more horror games yesterday, but then things came up, so thank you all for your patience. How you doing, Cryptic, speaking of? Give you a shout out real quick. There we go, the wonderful Cryptic. No bias here. <laughs> all right. So I think we're ready to get it going, right, guys? Checking. All right, all right, all right, all right. But yeah, last time, if I remember correctly, we made it to chapter. I want to say chapter two. We made it to the swamp. We made it to the swamp, and it's already spicy as hell. It is very fucking spicy. <laughs> So we're going to be doing our best to survive in there. Um, I think I remember there being like a big tree with a bunch of people attached to it. We talked to. And then, shit, they wanted us to get something. Oh man, this is going to be rough too. Because this game does like old school style like quests and everything where you got to like look at the journal and see what your character said. And that's like your reminder and everything. <laughs> One second. One second. Okay, 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 okay. All right, cool. All right, I think we're ready to get going, Ryan. Let's get into it. I keep getting drawn to the delete button, and I it, like the play button up here just blends in for me. I don't know why. What's up, dude? What's up, Dino? How you doing today? Hope you're having a wonderful day today. All that and more. Hmm. Dying less today. That's good. Preferably no dying at all. You know, so if you if you could do that for me real quick, Cryptic, that'd be great. Thanks. Okay. Yeah, I think I remember we survived. Yeah, we survived the night and then we called it there last stream. And man, oh man, these nights are getting rough too. Because if I remember, yeah, this is... I think this is supposed to be like the last... um. At least I'm guessing it's the last hideout we have. And it is, n like, barely defensible at all. We are fighting for our goddamn lives and we're running low on resources. We gotta do a little quick... A little quick recap of what we do have. I do remember we actually maxed out our syringe, too, so we don't have to worry about feeding that. I think we've been eating the meat. I think we've been eating the meat. Um, Darkwood, odd meat. Yeah, we're gonna look up the wiki stuff again. All we needed. So I remember it being good for stamina, but what else? What else? What else? You receive endurance buff and armor buff for for two and a half minutes. Yeah, that's right. That's why we're using it. Because I think we're getting to the point where we're getting raw meat from everything. So we're like, fuck it. We have barely any space at home that I can think of. Might as well, right? Either that or sell it, but. I think there's better things we can sell. What is the fish good for? Yeah, we're going to be looking some stuff up on the side, too. While we figure out what's what. Thankfully, time is paused here. Um, Fish can be consumed to Grand Durance as well as a slow healing effect for one minute. Ooh. Two fish can be found in a backpack by the village right next to the cripple. I didn't know I was in this game. 
Uh, occasionally a fish may be seen swimming in the swamp and can be collected. Okay. <laughs> um, so it gives us about 100 health over 60 seconds. That's pretty nice. That's pretty nice. Okay. And then, yeah, boost stamina as well. Okay, okay, okay. That's right. Okay. So looking at stuff again, trying to get a recap of what we did. We need to get into the cellar to get to the root of the tree and kill it, right? Okay. So in order to do that, we need an oxygen tank. So that's what we need to find today. Hmm. It may be a little spoilery, but I'm doing this just so I know an idea of where to go, so I'm not walking around endlessly, or aimlessly, I guess I should say. I don't know if I can, but I'll let you know. Oh my god. If you were playing a game that makes the most, uh... Ooh, and the lights of men? I've never seen that word, word before. Should enough bricks to build a house? <laughs> nice. Let's commit deforestation. Yeah. That was me playing uh, Sons of the Forest this Halloween. <laughs> Just the amount of trees we cut down, holy shit. Okay. Yeah. It's funny, I've had this game since before it came out to full release and everything, but yet I never beat it. So this is still kind of like a first playthrough. Two empty oxygen tanks can be found in the swamp. One is acquired from completing the elephant's quest. I have no clue who that is. Another can be found on a corpse behind the code locked door in the old shed. Okay. The swamp, uh, swamp cottage. Do we have the swamp cottage? Cottage near the junkyard. I don't know if that's the same, though. Okay, so part of me is thinking that we should just wander around this area then, see what we find. Because we need an oxygen tank, but do we need something else, though? Like, do we need a diving mask, or is it just the oxygen tank? I don't see anything about anything else needed. And then we know where the compressor is, because you need the compressor to fill up the tank, and that's around here. But we need compressor parts. Impressive parts found in the junkyard and the radio tower. Okay, so. Oh, wait, no, this is junkyard. We have into the junkyard. Okay. It's a maze like place composed of large piles of scrap that can be dug for items. Digging a junk pile requires a shovel with a condition of at least 30. Oh, shit. So we need to use our shovel then as a tool instead of a weapon. All right. Manly. Oh, okay. 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 Yeah. My apologies. <laughs> oh man. No, this game. I'd love this game though. I really do. I've loved it ever since like it first came out in the early access and all that, or it's just announced. And even though I never beat it, it was just due to a whole, like I never sat down to actually stick with it. If that makes sense. You know, have you played it yourself, Dino? Yeah, so we should repair both of these then, huh? And then we need to keep this alive, because if it says we need 30%... Fuck. That's gonna be rough. 
That's right, we made the shotgun. Yeah, we made the single shot shotgun with the idea of when we're defending the house at night, we're gonna pull that out, but when we're in the, like, going about during our day, we use the pistol. I think we're gonna stick with that. I think that's been working well for us. Well, uh, I don't know well is the right term here, but... Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> um... Hmm. I'm trying to think if we should carry anything else with us, though, to be honest. So I'm trying to remember what we had before and all that, what we should be keeping on us going forward, all that. Like, I want to keep, yeah, so we have two bandages with alcohol, and I remember, like, being told this is, like, the best healing item in the game due to its, like, heal over time and how much it heals. So I want to keep that, um... I want to keep at least one stamina item. I want to keep an empty inventory, but... Hmm. I think we were running low on alcohol, though, right? Last time? Yeah, I don't see any alcohol. Shit. Oh, fuck. I forgot about my tea. Oh, no! It's cold! No. Oh. Mm hmm. Chat, what do you guys think? Let's take an extra red clip. Um, okay. All right, we're going to try and make it work with just this. I really want to upgrade this workshop, but we need those fucking, what is it, pliers? And we still haven't found any. I hate to interrupt stream, but I'm trying to do Raphael's area in BG3, and I can't remember how you told me to start it. I'm at the brothel. Uh, you go up the stairs and everything, then there's a door that leads to the balcony, or you go out to that balcony, and then you walk a bit, and then there should be, like, a fancy-looking door, if I remember correctly. And when you go in there, Raphael should be in there. If I'm thinking of the right spot. Sorry, it's not much more help from that. Okay, workbench. I'm trying to remember what that item is. Oh shit, we got like three more upgrades too, if I'm reading this right. Oh my god. Yeah, the workbench goes up to level 8. Jesus Christ. Because it's like, I want to make that axe then, and we can take the axe and the shovel. This way we can use the shovel to dig up stuff and the axe to kill. But... We need the pliers. I remember the pliers being something that was giving us some pain. I'm seeing something here. Shit. Apparently we passed one by the cripple. It says there's one near the cripple's house. There's another small house with gross and red chomper. Yeah, and I think we were trying to just avoid the chomper because we were running low on stuff. Or like we we're running low on time or something. And there's ones in the ruin. And there's one... Okay, so there's five possible pliers. Jesus. And it looks like we need three to fully upgrade it. Shit, okay. One of them says the holes shortcut. Okay. Mushroom glade. Junkyard, Ruin 2, and in Village Swamp. So those are locations. It seems like everything's pointing, just we need to go to the junkyard today. Alright. Sorry, guys. Thank you for your patience, though, as we get back into the swing of things. Um, let's do this. Just a bit of inventory management. I think we're going to go with just this on our inventory. It might be a little lackluster, but... Uh, I don't know. Um. Hmm. They're selling a shovel. Did we buy and sell stuff? I think we did. 
Yeah, I think we did that before we logged off last time. Mm -hmm. So now part of me is like, should we get another shovel then? You know? I kind of feel like we should. Like, I might have gotten an unfair advantage by looking that up, but I'm fine with that, to be honest. At this point, at least in the playthrough. Um, I don't remember what we were saving up for. Were we saving up for anything? Oh, man, I don't remember. Hmm. Let's go with what we have. We have lots of pistol rounds for now, at least. And I know, like, after every night, you can get more. From the trader, so I'm not too worried. That's the quarry. I think we already looted that though last time. So there's pliers in here. And then there's pliers in here as well as this is the compressor part, I think. Yeah, compressor part. Army wants to fix the compressor first before we try finding an oxygen tank. Okay, so we got lots, lots, and lots, and lots of things to think about now. Sound good, chat? Okay, so we need to find an old shed and the elephants if we want to get the oxygen. Okay, so we have our goals for the day. Yeah, let me write at the bottom here, too. This way we all know, so when I inevitably ask you guys, hey, what are we trying to do again? What the fuck is this? Let's see. Fires, oxygen. Ooh, it's too big. All right, there we go. Now you guys get to see the goals too. Much appreciated. Hopefully it helps. Hopefully it helps. All right, let's chat. Off we go. Should we drink from the well? I think we should. Because we get this one today. I remember that. Oh, that's right. And sh some of the shit. Yeah, some of the shit in the swamp here hurts hell. Okay. Just got to play it safe and slow. We didn't bring a Molotov. Because I think we've been using all of our Molotovs to kill the uh, chompers, right? Yeah. Okay. All right, so let's just keep heading this way. Curious why we didn't explore the junkyard before, though. Like, maybe it was like we got close to it, but we just didn't. Maybe because of time? I don't know. There's more bugs there, and that'll be good for if we need more armor. If I remember correctly, too, it should be able to respawn. I think that's the sound of something eating something, right? No, that's the sound of these vines. Why are they vining? Why are you vining like this? Fuck, I forgot there's exploding boys. Chat. I'm already going through it, man. Why do you have to do that? I heard you like this. Apparently we're at the junkyard. Okay, it's this. It sounds like a dog, but I don't see it. Okay. Let's grab some more of these nails. We have enough planks at home that I don't want to grab the wood there yet. Friendly? Oh, that's a doctor. Holy... Whoa, what the fuck happened to you, my man? This land hides more secrets than your little fucking rat brain is capable of understanding. 
Jeez. The Dr. Dixter's mod, I think he's looking for something. Deep underground, there's a current of electricity. Fucking electricity. He starts flailing his arms wildly, throwing pieces of mud everywhere around him, and it flows underground from tree to tree. Doctor suddenly freezes, staring at me with his arms midair, and it powers everything. It connects it all. If I had a light bulb, if I just screwed it into one of these branches, it would light up. I bet it fucking would. He bends over a small hole in the mud and continues digging. Maybe this is where you're hiding. Maybe this is the way. I haven't slept a wink in many days. I don't think this is good for me. I hear this voice all the time. Can you hear it? Her heavenly voice. Doctor stares right into my eyes. Mud drips from his face. He hasn't blinked in over a minute. No, you don't. Why would you? You don't know her. He steps towards me and lowers his voice. I'm a bit fed up with her. A bit. A little tiny bit. She must know I'm heading her way. I'm doing everything I can. I don't eat. I don't sleep. I search under every rock, under every fucking bush. She must understand it. She must give me some time, some little time off. Tell her this, will you? Okay, going a little crazy. Listen, listen, listen. You, you aren't going to need that where you're going, so I'm just going to take that from you. Thank you. <laughs> you found him? Hey, good shit. Good shit. One second. One second. There we go. Okay. Alright. Doctor is lost in his thoughts. A cigarette sticks out of his mud-covered mouth. Using what remains of his shoe, he draws lines on the ground. They seem to intersect in completely random places. I'm waiting. He doesn't stop drawing. He moves away a bit and makes a wide arc with his heel. Four. The doctor flicks his cigarette into the, dark, into the dirt, stomps on it, and drags it along the ground, creating the last straight line. You. Fuck. Drawing was never my forte. When you hear the trees sing... They're calling us. They're showing us the way. They're showing us the way as the same blocking. I can't understand it. He kicks a stone. Are they trying to tell us something? Are they putting us to a test? I don't know. Maybe they're lost too. I don't know what to do. He shakes his head, dispirited, and goes silent. After a long pause, he turns towards me. His glasses are so dirty I barely see the eyes hiding underneath. I see you haven't regained your speech. You need to find another doctor. Damn. Get a funny feeling that's going to be the last thing we see from him, huh? So he uses a third of all of our durability then. Wait, so even with the sturdy blade attachment too? Even with it being an extra durable shovel, it uses that much. Christ. We should have got that other shovel. Okay, well, now we know. Now we know. But we did get a lot of fabric. We have no use for fabric anymore. However, we can use it to sell. So, if anything, we can sell it. Um, okay, there's two trash piles there. I want to look for all the trash piles first before we go digging. Because, see, there's another one. Yeah, there's two more there. Fuck. It's going to be a pain, huh? Wait, what the... Oh no! <gasps> no, this is, uh, what's his face? From the first act. The, uh, oh man. Oh, that really sucks. I don't think we need rope anymore. Yeah, this is the kid from the first act and everything. He wanted to go in his rocket ship. Oh, fuck, man. Oh. Okay. All right, we got to make the most of our time, so we got to be moving. We got to constantly be moving because this place is massive. So we're going to dig these two spots and we're going to run home, drop off whatever we can, if we have any space anywhere, and then come back. On the bright side, like, these are really good items that we're getting here. You know? These are really good. Like, 
It's a bear trap, you know? It's used for finding Berengers out in the wild. I ask people to stop putting them out and about, but, you know. Fuck me, I guess. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna go home, repair this shovel, because we have plenty of scrap metal, at least. Another tubular magazine. Okay. Yeah, and we got scrap from this, too, so technically we should be fine. Alright, so let's do this. I'm gonna eat this. I'm gonna grab the weapon parts, because we already have a tubular magazine. I don't want to double up, even though we could sell the extra. We'll see. Because from my understanding, if I remember correctly, I think we found out that there's, like... Oh, man, I can't remember. I think there's supposed to be something along the lines of three or four different shotguns in the game. I think it's four, if I remember correctly. With one of them being, like, the single, what is it? The, uh, it's the use and then it's gone shotgun, which I think we found out is a double barrel, like, use, right? Like, you fire twice and then it's up. Um... Then you have the single shot shotgun, which is what we have at home. Then you have a double barrel shotgun you can apparently find somewhere. And then there's the pump shotgun, which from what people have told me in chat, you're basically a killing machine when you get it. So that's going to be exciting. There's some muddy footprints on the floor. Oh, shit. Someone has been through my workshop. Motherfucker. I don't even know what they took, to be honest with you. Fuck. God damn piece of shit. All right, well. I guess that's one of the perks of, you know, being a hoarder in this game, right? You have no clue what people take from you if they steal from you, huh? <laughs> Okay, um... Shit. Man, shovel's repaired. Um. God, we have, like, no space to drop shit. I think I remember seeing something that was like, if you put stuff on the floor, it doesn't despawn, technically. So a lot of people are recommending to just do that. Okay, well. Genuinely, part of me is like, maybe a good side of hoarding is that... Oh, no, they took three of my shells. Fuck. That's actually so important, too. Oh, uh, because we had five shells here. Okay, 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 okay. Whatever. All right, we got to go back. We, we just got to hurry up and go back already. Um, just trying to think of what we can take or drop, I guess. Oh, ooh, spook. Here. Drop this on the floor and put this in there. We might have to grab the, um, wood logs we saw all the way out there. Going into the junkyard. Because we're going to have to rebuild some doors for the night. Somebody motherfucking stole from me. So what, am I going to have to deal with somebody stealing my stuff now every few days? Is it going to be like every night now? Uh, I don't know why there's meat in a hole, but sure, thank you for this gift. Dead end. I'm already getting lost. Yeah, this is not the same way we went last time. Shit. I mean, we still got plenty of time. It's just, I'm trying to make the most of every day now. Because now I don't know if I'm going to be stolen from, like, every night or something. You know? We can't go through there because of those. Yeah, we took a wrong path. We took a wrong path. How you doing, Acorn? Me and a hole just reminds me of wall chicken. What? The hell's a wall chicken? Fuck. 
Fuck, where am I, man? How did I get so lost? Wait. Here it is, here it is, here it is. Okay. Alright, the doctor's gone. Was it the doctor that stole my stuff, maybe? Hmm. Long barrel, which is good. More scrap. Oh, please be the compressor. Fuck, are there more hole or more digging spots I just didn't see? Yeah, shit. Hmm. Is where we supposed to find pliers in the junkyard? And then what is it? Compressor parts, right? Now let's see. Junkyard. Another one of the pliers is in the remains of Petrix Rocket. So that is his rocket. Shit. Only if you do not follow the wolf inside. Wait, did we get pliers then? I don't remember getting pliers though. Did there it is. Okay, so it's on his pockets. Okay, I didn't know there's multiple things to search. Wow, there's a lot of high value stuff here. Okay, well, the bright side of getting stolen from, I guess we get all this extra stuff here. As long as this doesn't get stolen from. But my only problem. Oh, there are more. Fuck. All right, please be the right one. I don't want to come back. Come on. Ugh. Shit. Well. All right, so unless there's other dig sites, this is what should have the uh, compressor parts then, right? Okay. Let's see if we can make it back home, fix our shovel, and then come back then. One last time. I'm just trying to be careful with the timing, you know? Fuck, my shoulder is killing me, man. I wonder why. <sighs> I keep hearing the sound of a dog, but I don't see it. Oh, what was that? Vlado underscore oh. MS just resubscribed for six months. Come on, Stremer, go faster, Kappa. I'm trying. Thank you for the six months, though, tier one. I really do appreciate it, Vlado. Let me get some arts and chat, please, for Vlado. Thank you for the shout out as well. Chicken in the hole in the wall, Alakas. Oh, that's right. Yeah, good old Castlevania. I remember as a kid seeing a few videos that kind of joked about that, like, would you, are you actually going to eat that, dude? <laughs> that, that was like sitting in a wall for a while. That would have really sucked if I came back and it's like more stuff was stolen from and like keep stealing every single time you come back. Well, I got extra stuff like here, so... Now we got lots of weapons. Thankfully. I'm trying to go fast. Don't you worry, though. Let's try to figure out what to do with all this like extra stuff we have that we just don't have space for anywhere, you know? Uh, part of me thinks I should just leave it on the floor, honestly. If it doesn't despawn, you know? If those threads online were true... Then stuff doesn't respawn when it's on the floor, so... Here. 
I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna leave all the wood in the saw here. Okay, let's run back. But we have a fire axe now. We haven't even seen about upgrading it just yet. But we can probably use that other axe head to upgrade it even more if it's similar to the shovel. Because I think with the shovel, if we wanted to get the sturdy blade, like the really good durability, which doesn't mean shit apparently when you're digging up the holes. Um, in order to get that, we had to have another shovel head, if I remember correctly. Yeah, how you doing though, Vlado? Again, thank you for your generosity. I really do appreciate it, bud. Hope you're having a wonderful day today. There's a the dog. I gotta remember. Yeah, the dog. Oh, fuck. I'm dead. Ooh. I'm not dead. I'm a gaming god. But I did lose my armor, so I need to be careful of being one shot now. Um, I have to remember, dogs will not let you get, like, charged attacks off on them. Because of their attack patterns. So I got two hits off, and I already took that much damage, huh? Okay. Yeah, that's just on me. Skill issue, yada, 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 you know. <laughs> Goddamn shoulder. Please be compressive part. There it is. Yep. Alright. Just gonna chow down on this because it's about to expire. Uh, it looks like there's more to explore, but I don't want to spend too much time here. I want to see if I can grab whatever else I can before heading home. Did I already empty these? Damn. I feel like I'm probably missing a trash thing I opened then. So I could have swore we didn't have enough space for everything. Alright, let's try and head home quickly. Because we still have to get stuff ready for the night. Oh man, this is going to be time. This is going to be fun, shit. Easy game chat, exactly. See, Flato gets it. Seems fucking easy, dude. Okay. What was that? Okay, okay, okay. Grab a bunch of these. I'm gonna repair this first. I need... I need to fucking hurry, that's what I really need to do. I'm kinda scared of leaving that compressor in my chest now, because if somebody's running through our stuff, stealing, then we might run the risk of them just yoinking that. How you doing, Shadow? Hope you're having a wonderful day today. We got some snow today too, really? Got our first snowfall yesterday, and today we were with without electricity. Oh no. I'm so sorry. Sorry to hear that. Hopefully it's nothing bad though. Like, I'm glad it seems your electricity came back, I hope. Wait, what? Wait, where's our compressor? Didn't we... Did we accidentally put it away? I feel like I accidentally put it away, didn't I? Shh, shh. Oh, come on. I was not supposed to be doing this. I did. I'm silly. We'll be fine, chat, right? Yeah, how you doing, the Shadow? He's refilling empty tanks. Perfect. Right, that's gone. That's done, that's done. Okay. With 
quickness preferably. Is that? And the shotgun shells, please. Oh shit, it's covered in that. Invincible shit. Okay. Easy game, chat. Easy game, easy life. Easy game, easy life. Easy game, easy life. Is that what I'm calling myself? Let me fuck that door up real quick. I just built that too. Y'all motherfuckers can't leave me to peace for a few seconds. Huh. How are you? I'm vibing. Frantically trying to remember how to play this game efficiently. <laughs> how are you, though? I already asked. Don't answer that. If you do, somebody ban him. I'm kidding. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm vibing. I'm vibing. I'm vibing. Um, put this way and hopefully it doesn't get yoinked. That's kind of the motto, huh? Hopefully it doesn't get yoinked. Oh, we got some downtime, right? Yeah, there's the double barrel. So we can get three upgrades with this right now. What's that noise? Ow. Hmm. The walls seem to be moving again. I wonder why. Do we really not have any pipes? I feel like we did have pipes, but they were yoinked. Oh, there goes my light. Okay, goodbye. I'll miss you. They're ruining me and my uh, enclosure time. My enrichment time. Now we're going to go all in on uh, durability and just more damage. So we need to be sure not to miss. Hi, we're not accepting visitors at this time. Please leave. Oh, did he actually leave? Oh, hi. Hi. Don't think about it. Don't. Keep your distance. I'll take your meat. Okay. Your friend looked at me first, all right? I had every right. Every right. Every right to steal his liver. If he wanted to keep his liver, he should have kept his distance. Simple as that. Keep your distance, keep your liver. Oh. Ugh. He's been waiting to hear back from someone about something later in the week before I get some shut eye. That's fair, that's fair. Well, hopefully you're able to get some good sleep tonight. Or today. <laughs> Oh. Thankfully they fixed it through the day because the night would have been interesting without heating. Yeah, that would have uh, interesting is a nice word to put it, you know? <laughs> I love seeing a uh, bear get bullied. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm the one that bully. Because everybody knows I'm toxic, right? Super toxic. With a thing of your lips, I'm one round. I wonder if we're gonna get stolen again. I really have no fucking idea. Cause I'm worried to leave my fucking shotgun behind. You know what? Maybe they only steal from that, right? So if they only steal from 
the workshop. We're gonna put our goodies here. Sound good, gang? I think that sounds phenomenal. I got a lot of shit to sell to. With these two fabrics, that's gonna be worth a nice penny. Did you steal my shit? Huh? I gotta say, uh, this metal pipe has my name on it. Hmm? Where'd you get it? Looks awfully familiar. Hmm? First things first, you can have these. I have no use for them at all. Don't have use for that. I don't need an extra one of those. It would be nice in case I die, but fuck it. We ball, right? All right. <laughs> uh. Want to buy an extra pipe. But now I'm worried it's going to get yoinked again. Uh. I'll just keep buying ammo every single night. We got a lot of good valuables there, though. That's actually huge for us. Let's buy extras. Oh, we don't need extra of those pills. We do need an extra one of these. All right. Good trade. Yeah, we are. Oof. All right. Uh, I kind of want to dump all of this into my tank hmm okay wait what because i kind of want to do a bunch of bandages now make no armor Alright, so, shotgun shells again, we're gonna store elsewhere. It's a lot of pistol, we're gonna leave it behind, hopefully it doesn't get yoinked. That's gonna be the key word of today, hopefully it doesn't. No promises. Um, hmm, I feel like I'm missing chat, but y'all need to understand. some players and the reason why I'm taking my time here is because time pauses at the beginning of every day so I have a moment of reprieve um, okay all right well like this as good as it's gonna get you get me? Okay. Yeah, how you doing there, Lunar? Beat the intruders in the face with a whole bag of hammers? I really should, shouldn't I? That feels like a class act move. I like it. Instead of a sock of rocks, it's a sock of hammers. Exactly. Are they in your walls? I'm in their walls soon enough. Don't you worry. You bully me, so I bully you? I Excuse me? I need you to re repeat that message you just stated right there cryptic mm. that we're only toxic when it's only monster Hunter streams monster Hunter made me toxic you know no i made monster Hunter toxic actually it's the other way around know the facts flato each time you see people being toxic in the monster Hunter community you could be like Baringer did that <laughs> totally totally you can trust me with that guys Totally, totally. Beringer did that. Oh yeah, I forgot we had bear traps. <laughs> Whoopsie. Haha, <laughs> tee hee, quirky, haha. Uh -huh. uh. The reason why I'm not setting it up now is because I know my dumbass is gonna run into my own fucking trap. A bear trap? Oh. <sighs> Metal pipe sound effect, yeah. <laughs> oh, so funny. 
All right, uh, fuck, dude. I don't know. Fuck. Part of me feels like I should follow these footprints, though, to see who stole my stuff, huh? Because usually when games have, like, mechanics like this where somebody can steal your stuff, like, in the game, there's a way to get it back, right? Then again, this is a punishing game, and punishing games are usually like, nah, I get fucked. See any footprints leading out though. Oh. Where the fuck did this person go? Alright, well, this is going to be an interesting, interesting turn of events. So we have the compressor. We got the compressor and we got pliers. We can always use more pliers, so I'm going to do this. this. Compressor's done. Now it's just pliers and oxygen tank. Oh, wrong one. Um, and again, the oxygen tank. It's either from a place called the Old Shed or... From these people called the elephants. I have no clue what that is. Okay, I feel like our best route is just literally exploring this way then, huh? So I think we can get another set of pliers if we go this way, which would let us... Yeah, because we can get another upgrade already. I'd like to do less stamina, to be honest, but that just needs so many pipes. All right, here, here, here. Can I pay you an extra, like, 10 reputation? If you just, you know, bite whoever comes by here again to steal my stuff, please and thanks. I'd really appreciate it. You have no idea. I don't even want to leave it there. I just kind of want to leave it on the floor, you know? <sighs> uh, all right. This corner right here is the no touch corner. Everybody knows that, right? It's illegal to touch anything that's in this particular corner. Ugh. Ever just chop bananas and put in your cereal? I have actually. What is it? Honey Nut Cheerios. Do a little slice of banana. It's actually pretty good. You know, Dinical? Or Dinical? However, you, which way you would like me to pronounce your name. Hope you're having a wonderful day today, though. So, I recommend we just fuck off in this direction. Sound good, everybody? I think it sounds grand. Got bananas in my honeycombs. Ooh. Oh, that sounds like such a bomb-ass cereal right now. Nice. What the fuck? Nice sweet cereal and everything to get the day going. Or maybe a dessert, you know? Dude, cereal can sometimes be super sweet to the point where I have it as a dessert, and it's a good-ass dessert. Are you kidding me? 180s me? How much stamina do you need to do a quick slap? Really? You need half the bar? You need three-fourths of the entire stamina bar to do a quick swing. Holy shit. Damn, our person can't swim for shit. I say with mangly hands. <laughs> Alright, well, we're already halfway through our armor and we just got the day started. Whoever's rummaging through my shit, I hope they're happy. Alright, that's a great start. What is that red light again? Did we ever figure out what that was before? Hey. 
Hello? Right, my instincts say don't touch it. So we ain't gonna touch it. Big news to share was accepted college to pursue your career. Really? Dude, good shit, Acorn. What are you looking to pursue, bud? If you don't mind me asking. I'm happy for you. I'm really happy to hear that. Honey flavored cardboard? All right, listen here, motherfucker. All right. Oh, so much say. So much say. <laughs> mushroom glade? Okay. I remember seeing something that the mushroom glade was important, so this is good. Just the fun part about this map, though, is you don't know if you're actually in it. Oh. Oh, shit. These are the two things we actually really need to find, too, so this is perfect. Well, I know the old shed is, at least. The old shed is where we can get one of the oxygen tanks, right? Alright, chat, you don't spook easy, right? We need to get to that side. Oh, what the fuck? That can only be good, right? Yoo-hoo! Big summer blowout. Ooh. Ooh. Floor is covered with flowers of various colors. Some are fresh. The rest must have been lying here for some time. And we have to go to check for that now. We have to go. We have to go chat. We have to go to break. I'm sorry. Uh, you have mangly hands. They're swinging with mangly arms. True, true, true. See? Shadow's on something. Mortuary sciences. Getting licensed as a mortician. Dude. Oh, that's going to be so interesting. I turn event dropped in now going back. Hell yeah. What made you pursue that if you don't mind me asking? What if I got sass? I'm not wrong. Oh my god. No, I spook easy. Don't go there. Okay. Just for you, Denical. <laughs> Denical. <laughs> Denical Donical Dudo. Denical Dino Dudo. Oh, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Let me just... Okay. Yeah, we're gonna go to break those. So chat. I'll see you guys in a bit. Don't go anywhere. Full Diaper Alchemist.
Full Diaper Alchemist. All right, we're back, chat. Let's see. It's where the moment pursue at the time, but now it's more of a calling kind of thing. Okay. Helping people during the hardest part of their lives, making it not as hard, gives us more hard. It's understandable. Because so many people go through their toughest time in moments like that. And having people that genuinely do care and everything, who just want to do nothing but help, I'm sure it makes all the difference. I appreciate that, bud. Grew up a lot of grew up around a lot of alumni people and it's a uh yeah. If you're sense or desensitized to it and everything, it can definitely help too. I hate overload uh minotaurs. What do you mean? They're so fun though, Luna. Alright, back to the spooky. Everybody get spooky. Oh shit. Uh chat, give me a number. Chat, give me a number, chat. What are we feeling? I need four digits. Come on. I see 8888. Eight, eight. All right. All right. Mods, ban Vlado. Okay. Acorn. Let's see. One, nine, eight, nine. All right. Mods, ban Acorn. All right. Eight. Cryptic right now. I was like, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> See, eight, six, seven, five, three, oh, nine. All right, mods, ban cryptic. All right, who's next? Anybody else? Any other takers? Ugh. Damn. Mods, ban me, please. How you doing, Audrey? Oh, that was an Audrey? Oh, shit. That's funny. See, y'all can't have the same color names. Everybody has to have their own color. This is fucking me over. Oh, I'm like a T-Rex. Instead of motion, like I don't see motion, I just don't like I'm not gonna say that. Oh god. Uh what's it called? I just don't differentiate people based off the uh color of their names and everything. Oh how you doing though, Natri? <laughs> five seven oh seven. Alright, let's try that. Five seven. Oh. Alright. Mods ban and Audrey too. We're going through a system, you know. Ban the streamer, of course, of course. Okay, all right. Well, we don't know the code there. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. Well, let's head left to the mushroom glade, I guess. that room doing job hunting taking a break understandable how's that been going though any luck so far any leads are these all gonna explode or some shit An intense sweet smell of mushroom fills the air sweet smell of mushroom huh never really associated sweet with mushrooms before you know oh this really fucking sucks i don't have any fire on me and i don't bring fire too because i'm just like yeah limited inventory you know This isn't gonna make him go away, right? Yeah. I can't just swing normally. Yeah. Man, that blows. I can try to sprint around, see if that works, but. Go, go, go. <gasps> oh. Next. <laughs> Really blows. The footprints. Is this the motherfucker that stole my stuff? Something mauled him not too long ago. It's awfully thin. Looks named Rock. He's neatly cut stone. It's covered in blood. Someone probably used it as a weapon. Alcohol. Ooh. 
That's pretty good. Thank you. You got any fire on you? Ugh. I don't know how to go through those. What's up, Bucker? What's happening? Doctors. Oh my god, my man. You look wonderful. You look so, so good. Where's your skin? <clears throat> hmm. Fan stream elements? Oh my. Couple of possible junior system admin roles? Well, that'd be cool. I mean, at least it's something, you know? But hopefully it leads to something soon. Peepers creepers, where'd you get those peepers? Who knows? Peepers creepers, where'd you get those peepers? Okay. Doctor turns his mud-covered head towards the sun and freezes. Then he spreads his arms along his sides. Warm. A chunk of mud falls down on his exposed tongue. He chews it slowly and swallows with satisfaction. He's gone full plant. Oh. Doctor approaches me. I can feel him embracing me. I hear his hoarse breath and his smell his odor. Ears whisper, soon, very soon, not long from now. Do you have anything you can give me? Mm -hmm. Do I need another one of these? Yeah, I'll take another one, sure. Uh, I'll take another one of these, actually. Thank you. All right. Doctor glances at me. He tilts his head sideways, lost in thought. After a moment, he extends his hand towards me, as if wanting to grab me by the throat, but stops halfway freezes slowly he bends down and grabs a thick branch from the ground he starts biting the bark off of it he swallows the bark with an effort but also great satisfaction he places the stick among other ones sticking out of his mud covered head the doctor puts the muddy hand into his mouth grimaces and pulls out a yellow tooth he puts it into the pocket of his torn trousers the tooth falls through a hole he does not notice this the doctor begins staring at a nearby tree trunk paying no attention to the blood flowing between his lips my man's gone. You know what? Good for you, my guy. Good for you. Living your best life out here, King. Keep it up. Oh. <laughs> my blood tastes funny. Does your blood taste funny? Don't you just want to get rid of your own blood? <laughs> this real quick. Me counteract poison. Hopefully. I'm gonna pick you up so I don't step on you. Ah, uh, yeah, it's just coming through. It's coming through. Anything important here for me? Little old me? Is that gonna explode, whatever that is? Right. Hello? Hi? Oh. I don't like that. Why are you just lading? Just lading? Juicelating? Oscillating? Oh! Fuck. Everything inside the cottage is covered with mushrooms. The floor, even though it looks like it's made of wood, bends under my feet. A white, colorless goo seeps from the ceiling and walls. All right, chat. Give me some numbers. Give me some numbers, chat. Man, looks like he's ready to make like a tree and leaf. Oh my goodness. I smell pennies, do you know? No, my blood tastes good. Damn, lucky. Eight. Zero. Zero. Eight. All right, mods. Ban shadow. All right. Another try acorn, all right. All or nothing. I respect that. I respect that acorn. Nope. All right. You know what to do, mods. Let's see. Eight. Five. One. No. Oh, all right. Mods, let's go nuclear. You know what to do. What? Damn. I feel like that's the look Beth gives me each time I say some stupid ass shit to her, you know? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. An old woman sits on a weathered rocking chair. Sleep is deep and peaceful. A handful of ripe mushrooms grow out from beneath her thick hair. 
Now, chat, you know I have to, right? Old, old, like, granny shrooms and everything have to hit different, right? Speaking of Beth, that looks like young Elizabeth from the Dark Souls 1 DLC. Young Elizabeth. God, I can't remember. <clears throat> That's been a minute since I played through Dark Souls 1. Yeah, let's wake up the old lady. As much as I want to pluck her, you know, shroom hair. <clears throat> the old lady slowly opens her eyes for a moment. She stares into space with an absent gaze. Finally, she becomes aware of my presence. Wait, you're not. Her emptying the eyes now take on a questioning expression. I didn't expect any guests. She throws a nervous look at the door on her right and glazes, or gazes around the mushroom-infested house. She relaxes a bit. I suppose you won't tell me what you want? And you want something since you're standing here in front of me, right? Point your finger at the door, eat the... Hey, buddy. Mr. Protagonist. That's quite the option you're giving me there. To, to just eat an old lady. Wasn't expecting that. Uh... Door to my chamber, there's nothing that would interest you there. Old lady puffs her cigarette. I'm back when you remember what it is you want from me. Maybe I should have eaten her, huh? Old lady examines the photo. Her thoughts wander far away. I remember cars driving along this road, and then they closed it. They set up a fence and a gate, but both the fence and the gate got devoured by the woods eventually. I think that's how it was. Yes, it's a stone. You could probably find some good ones here. So the quarry nearby, but the woods have surely devoured it by now. In the southeastern part of the swamp. And why are you showing me this? Why is this an option? Why does our character want to eat this old lady so bad? Excuse me. Protagonist didn't kill the sow, then she will right away give the key to him, saying that she will not resist him taking the child if the child agrees. What child? The fuck? The protagonist killed the sow, then it will be required to deal with the villagers first. All? Excuse me. Oh. Alright, I don't fucking know, dude. You did say the old lady mushroom must hit different. Eat her to gain courage. No one's less afraid than the old grandma that smokes. That's true. But it seems she must know something about what's up here. Chat, should we 
here. We're gonna, we're a democratic group, right? We're a democratic group here at this channel. Okay, all right. We're a democratic group that allows you to buy a vote too if you have lots of money. So, <laughs> do we eat the old lady? You guys got two minutes to decide. She might have stuff if we're nice and amicable. Amicable? Amicable? Or maybe she does a tasty snack. A treat that can't be beat. That's a lot of yeses. Good fucking lord. What is wrong with you people? What? What is wrong with you people? She's lived a full and mushy life. Did she? Do we know this? <clears throat> hmm. 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 Remember, commas are important. Let's eat, Grandma. <laughs> All right, four votes yes, two votes no. Are the quote-unquote sane people going to prevail? <laughs> Find out within 10 seconds. If I've learned anything from the new Silent Hill stream thingy, it's that most people offer the worst decisions. Oh, boy. I heard that new Silent Hill, what is it, Ascension, was a whole mess and a half. Goddamn. Shadow. <laughs> Jesus. All right, guess we're eating the granny. Hold on, I'm curious. I want to check, because I know I can check, right? Hold on, a few results. Hmm. Y'all lucky it doesn't show me the people that voted for free. Oh, you all lucky. <laughs> Alright, lady. I lean towards the old lady. The sweet fragrance of mushrooms overwhelms me. I have to eat her. Oh. Oh. <laughs> what are you doing? Leave me be. Go away. I bite into her body. Mushroom juice squirts onto my face and clothes. Damn, Granny's a squirter. Oh. Got an achievement. Eat the mushroom granny. I feel the woman's uh, feeble hands trying to push me away, but they are too weak, and my hunger is too great. She kicks about only slightly when I bite into her face. I'm not looking at chat. I see it moving. I slowly I swallow one chunk of her sweet body after another, unable to stop myself from devouring her whole. Alright. Hey, look at that. We're efficient, people. Odd-looking mushroom. Eh, we don't need those anymore, though. We'll just toss those out. Alright. <clears throat> What's up? Hello, kid. Hi. How you doing? You don't have mushrooms on you, do you? Mm. Wonder if these are those elephants I saw on the wiki. Alright. Uh okay, okay. Uh hey kid. Hey kid. Alright. What do you got for me, bud? The boy's standing under a wall overgrown with enormous mushrooms. He's visibly scared. I wonder why. His lush mop of hair veils a restless, wide-open pair of eyes. The kid is whispering, as if reciting something under his breath. The boy cowers and presses his back against a soft wall, which starts to ooze a white goo. Ugh. Hmm. 
I got something stuck in my teeth, it seems. <laughs> hmm. We could have got a sweater from her if we helped her. Oh, well, that's awkward. Hmm. So what do I do with the child? Isn't the child important? Let's see. Side of rhyme nervously when the protagonist comes near. Did he? Did I miss it? I was told you would recite something. So recite it. I'm all ears, child. Was it because I ate the granny? Huh? What, you eat one little old granny and everything who, you know, looks at you funny, and all of a sudden you nobody know, wants to talk to you. Of three flowers, that's on the key. Okay. Ooh. Oh, right, well, we got the pliers. Hmm. I mean, I voted the eater. Oh my god. It's not awful, not the story, but the experience was stream constantly crashed. Oh wow. Yeah, I heard what is it with the Silent Hill Ascension stuff? Give me a second, I'm trying to look up that thing again with the child. See if there's anything else I'm missing before I leave. I heard that apparently there was no moderation at all. So people were just saying slurs the moment they found out there was no moderation. And then apparently if you paid money, you got your message pinned to the top. And because there's no moderation, people were pinning slurs essentially. And I was like, what the fuck? And then I heard that the stream barely worked at all. And just a whole other slew of messes. I wouldn't know. I want to know what would happen if you didn't eat her. Yeah, I'm curious now too. Besides, like, apparently we just get a sweater out of it. Is it grandma chunks? Oh my. What interesting is that you ate all of her. She had no bones. Well, she's boneless. You know, it's a boneless granny. Can you eat it? Eat what? The sweater? Good point. All ears except for the part that smell. Yeah, exactly. No mods and nothing but slurs. Jesus. Jesus. I mean, according to this, he's supposed to recite a rhyme. He's supposed to recite a rhyme and everything when we get close. Uh, one little bear ate some soup, then the second bear came along. Four little bears made a little pow. Along came another bear, and the five, and the bears were five. Is that a code? Hmm. Baron Monkey? And don't you forget it. I don't teach rock. Go for a lock in that room. Oh shit. Right. So what was that? One little bear. The second bear came along. Four little bears made a little pow and five. So one, two, four, five. Okay. Stay hydrated. Where was that code again? This is a threat. Oh. One, two. Oh. All right. Whoever said it was a code for the thing in this room, ban them. Thank you. All right. We're going to be using that code on everything we see now. <laughs> Till it works, you know. 
Yeah, how you doing, Lucky Truck? Hope you're doing swell, bud. Ah, fuck. Oh. Damn it, Key Truck. We're just banning everybody today, you know? Fuck it. Scorched Earth. Alright. Where's the code at the old shed, right? And there's this, which we need fire for, but I don't have any on me. Wait. I have rags now. The only issue is... Oh, man. Yeah, apparently the kid was supposed to recite them when we walked up to him. So I wonder if because we ate the granny, he didn't. It makes sense, right? I don't know. I don't want to say it's bugs. Do I have gas? So if we can find a light or what is it? Yeah, match. We're Gucci. Hmm. Ironically, it's time to shovel the driveway so I get the lure. Okay, no worries. <laughs> no worries. Ugh. Appreciate the lurk, bud. Don't strain too hard with the shovel. Probably one, two, two, one. Wait, why you one, two, two, one? One little bear ate some soup, then the second bear came along. Four little bears made a little pow. Along came another bear, and the bears were five. Hmm. Okay, I see what you're saying. Shit. Maybe it is one, one, or one, two, two, one. Okay, I see exactly what you're saying. Fuck. Zero one two three. We did do one two three four. We didn't do zero one two three. Here, let's try one two two. No. Uh -huh. Maybe that. Oh. Yeah, that was. Okay. <clears throat> so the code was for this shack then. I am on the wiki, but I'm trying to avoid looking at everything the wiki says, you know? Only key things. Here's dreadfully ranted and stuffy. The heavy, sweet smell of flowers makes it with the stench of rot. Oh. Pages are glued together, creating a lot rotting clump of paper. There's a note at the bottom. Radio Tower, door 21, 12 p.m. I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce that. The topic can only make up the words devil, horns, orga, this is unreadable. The king corpse probably of a young boy. Uh oh. <gasps> Alright, got our oxygen tank. This is a very scuffed way to make progress, I gotta say. It does feel like I cheated a little, actually. Again, I didn't mind using the wiki and everything to kind of get a good idea of where to go, but I don't know. I feel like me looking at that rhyme now kind of feels a little cheaty. Mm -hmm. Well, I guess. Somebody stole my stuff, so you know what? Never mind. It's not cheaty. Getting back at whoever stole my stuff. Oh, fuck. Yeah, for those just joining, uh, apparently somebody came in the middle of the day and just yoinked our stuff. Oh. Wait, that's the same mask that was in the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, photo. There's a red light there. I ain't fucking with the red light. We walk past it, or are we gonna get God if we go near the red light? Ooh. I see you. <laughs> Ooh and what's all this? Chat, you gotta be very, very quiet. Chat, what the fuck did I just say? Chat, what the fuck did I just say? Good job, chat. Oh, I think one of my meat rotted. My meat went bad. Let's just eat this, get it over with. Have this one at the ready. 
Lots of bear traps, though. Guarantee you that that's a code. Yeah. If it is not, we give you a 10% discount on any buy under $50. Nice, nice, nice. Came could have also been bugged. Maybe. Maybe. But... I'm kind of at the point, though, where uh, I want to just assume that it's just me doing things wrong instead of it being bugged, you know? But I really don't know anymore at this point. So we use that to see the traps in the ground. No room in inventory? So you won't disarm it if there's no room? Really? Uh, actually... Oh, we don't have the bottle. Never mind. Now let's just drop that, anyways. Lots of scrap at least, so there's that. We are wasting a lot of time here, actually. Shit. We need to get going. I say continuing the disarm traps. Can repair the generator interesting wait is this like another hideout i can use no way no it needs to have a stove that's right yeah it needs to have a stove or else we'll just die in the middle of the night even if there's light and everything almost forgot about that i don't want to take that with us but Yeah, because this we can shoot and blow up. Alright, let's just head home. Still spooked at what that is. That don't feel right. We also have to watch our health too, because that is kind of low. Chat, we really need to get the fuck out of here. We are goofing around way too much. We are getting too silly for our britches, you know what I'm saying, chat? We gotta fucking hustle. Chomp chomp. No, I didn't want to reload. I want to do this one. Fuck. Because this game does the whole, if you reload, if you, uh, if you don't empty your entire clip, you just... It makes sense, you know, if you drop a clip when they're saying I'm on it, you're going to lose it. Because you're not going to sit there and undo it, but uh, whatever. <laughs> whatever. We fumbled it. We're just going to chalk it up as a... Where the fuck are we? All right, we're losing another ear. This is like our sixth ear we've cut off. Where are we? All right. How many ears do you think we have left, chat? <gasps> we gotta remember to use these two these gas tanks we have from before this first actually because i'm so paranoid about our stuff being yoinked again and again yeah we have an oxygen so now we can go underwater cool is that gonna blow up our generator if we shoot it that'd be so funny
Did we have more stuff stolen or no? Were we just missing already a bunch of stuff from last time? I think we were just missing... Miss you know? A little something like that. Sorry you guys had to see that, but it had to be said. That still irks me. Some Alright, upgrade it again. Why not? So now we can make a double barrel, but we are one upgrade away. We just need a third plier. Third plier, and we can make ourselves a pump shotgun. Holds eight rounds instead of just one like we have right now. That's nutty. We have enough weapon parts, too. Oh. Oh. Oh, you know? Well, something like that. Alright, so I guess we just wait now, right? We have a lot of scrap, actually, so I'm kind of thinking we do... A trap for bears and other things. Not Berengers, though, right? Uh-huh. Gulp. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. I'm not done putting down my stuff. Guys, tell them I'm not done yet. Oh, hey. Somebody told him. I'll go figure as a dog. I'm a dog chasing bears. I'm not surprised that the company that made this is Polish. I mean that negatively. Seems like a lot of these horror type games come from Sweden, Finland, Poland. Interesting. I think I did remember hearing something about that, though, that this was a Polish game. I think I just completely forgot about it. Me forgetting something, though, couldn't be. The fuck was that? Somebody pissing outside my... I have the widest eyebrows right now. Thankfully, you guys can't see due to no webcam. I am uncomfortable. Hmm. Hmm. I am uncomfortable. Didn't know they can come just come through the floor. That is a development. I love green tea. Did I ever tell you guys that? I love me some green tea. Oh. Who's pissing? Okay, so they're invincible and they're coming out. Ow! Jesus Christ! They will literally just keep slapping. And because the character takes ages to fucking throw a swing, you're just gonna eat it. Cheeky motherfucker. He has the nerve to just waltz in my home, slap my cheeks around, you know, left, right, left, right. Oh. Rude as hell. You did not go on. I just love green tea. You love green tea, Lies? I know, I know. I'm sorry, I just... I really like green tea. Piss men rising, they need to stop. I'm preying on their downfall. And I'm not religious. Take of that what you will. The fuck was that? 
Boy! Day 25. The pissing. Why is my door wide open? Did I leave it open? What's up? Okay, so what we're gonna wanna do now, we're gonna wanna go in and put some stuff away, okay? I'm probably gonna grab some more ammo, so we're gonna go in and just try and remember how to do stuff. Okay, we figured it out. We're gonna put this away now. We're gonna put the shotgun back in here with some shotgun shells. Oh ho! It's me, fucking Mickey. There's a comma in that sentence, by the way. There's a fucking comma in that sentence. <laughs> um. Hmm. I really want to make use of this. I don't want to just. Oh, oh, oh. I'll just sell it, you know? You don't sell alcohol, do you? Um, I'm trying to think of what else we can really buy we probably can do with some more nails because we're kind of at a part where we're thriving which is good it is good no room and container me 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 And I just, I do want to keep buying ammo. I feel like I'm never going to use a hunting rifle, though. Like, I'm never going to find the parts to make one, or I'm just not going to bother to make one. I'm going to get Gear Fear, or whatever they call it in uh, survival horror games, I guess. Because I know Gear Fear is what they call in, like, games like Tarkov, you know? Which makes sense. You don't want to lose your stuff, you know? You know, you know, you know, you know? That needs... It doesn't need any pipes. I'm just saying, chat? Oh, it's only 3 out of 3 still. Oh, fuck. I hate it here. We can't upgrade guns, right? Yeah, it's just melee weapons. This needs pipes? Why does everything need pipes? The pipes. Singing pipes. Erdium. Singing pipes. Eh. I guess we'll just do that. Hmm. All right, chat. I think I know what we're gonna do today. We're gonna go for the gold. You with me, chat? Are you with me or are you against me? This is what it feels like to drive an F-150. You get placed in Beringer's shoes where you're left to fight for your life out and about in the swamp with bangly hands and the voices in your head being like, what? <laughs> You know? Something like that, guys. You guys with me on this? Right? Avoid that bear trap. That'll be a surprise tool for later. Okay. Into the thick of it. Into the thick of it. Oh. That's some crunchy water. Oh, it's not the water. Wait. So, near the cripple's house, there's another small house with growths and a red chopper covered in black substance. Outside, after dealing with the threat, one room contains a corpse with pliers and a wardrobe with a fabric. Hmm. I think your favorite would still work. That's true, yeah. Cheap duck, <laughs> cheeked up and cheeky. Story of my life. Story of my fucking life. And always remember eat the old lady. Eat the old lady, everybody. A red chopper. Covered in stuff. 
rat chopper covered in stuff. Red chopper, red chopper, let down your whopper. We're decent instructions so far. Red chopper, red chopper, may I buy a whopper? Oh, how lovely. You think the old lady would have wanted to see that? Isn't this where the old man was? That uses half my shovel? What the fuck? Have we been this way before? I feel like we have. There better be something worth it up back here if it's going to kill my durability just like that. get to go to the water buddy Woo. my face feels funky yeah so i gotta keep in mind a lot of the like enemies in this chapter they like if they hit you and they know they can hit you again they will keep hitting you they won't give you a chance to breathe a good lordy lord Hey, you know what? A free shotgun. Shotgun is a shotgun, after all. We are gonna save this for later. I guess the shovel is now being delegated to now just a prying open tool. Hello, hello, what do we got of a Never mind. Chat, just ignore me. Chat, just ignore me. So is this what I marked down? Ooh, I'm stepped on that. I would have fucking shocked. Here I am looking for some fucking flyers too. Well, I think it was kind of worth, right? I mean, we got that map out of it. Like, going this way. Using all our precious durability. So there's the cripple, right? And then... Near the cripple's house, there's another small house with gross and red chopper covered just outside. near the crypt if we find this fire then
I want to lead it over to this because I think this will be enough to. Yeah, I think all the light around here will be enough to get rid of the black substance. We just got to find it, though. You know, for it being a really dangerous creature, it doesn't seem to want to fuck with me. I'm just widowy that strong, guys. Guys, did you know I'm that strong? I'm kind of a gamer. <laughs> Ow. I'm a gamer, guys. <laughs> Where the fuck did it go? They don't dig underground. They're... They usually hunt you down. Where did it go? Oh. These fucking dogs, dude. These fucking dogs, dude. Oh, Jesus. Some cool, what is it? Parallax? It's cool. Where did that chomper go though? Legit, like what did it really just disappear? Oh shit, didn't kill it. Spicy too. I accidentally took my healing off the fucking thing. Oh. Okay. Chat, I'm something of a gamer. Did you guys know that? <laughs> fucking hell. Oh, I didn't realize I had another thing of alcohol. I could have used that on the bandage there. Made a much better bandage. Oh well. I feel like I'm wasting too much time finding this fucking thing, but let's see. So, there's a small house with a with gross and red chopper. Contains a corpse with pliers and a wardrobe. So we gotta look for a room with corpse and wardrobe, right? There's gross right there. I'm the dumbass that didn't bring batteries. Jeez. Ah, damn it. And it's just with alcohol, though. That's good. The figure of the shrine bears the signs of teeth that's partially eaten. Jesus. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm all over the place. And I really want to go into the water area, though, but now I'm worried I won't have enough time. There goes all the durability. Flashlight, I will take that. Oh, thank you for the torch. I'm clearly going to need that. Let's get the regular flashlight off now. Heard him. So I've been in here before. Yeah, this is the other side. That's a room with a corpse. There's no plier on it. I 
going on going to go crazy here is this it no nope. what is with all these pills good lord really good stuff but still not what i need somebody scratched up the word thief on the photo probably should be grabbing these wires though dude i have no clue where these flyers are like the wiki's saying that there should be a house nearby but i don't know where it is Chat, we're gonna have to go to break those. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Don't go anywhere. Full diaper alchemist.
Full Diaper Alchemist. Alright. We are back. So, let's actually fix this too. There's just pliers. Pups and wind. <laughs> Alright, I have no clue where this fucking house is. I'm kind of tempted to just say, fuck it, we're moving on. I feel like we're wasting a lot of time. I find this stinky house. Cause I said it's in a house with a corpse and a wardrobe. We've already found a few houses with corpses and wardrobe with gross around it. Corpse, nothing. No wardrobe though. I don't know. I don't know, chat. I don't know, chat. Chat, I don't know. Is this it? Am I about to stumble into it? Because mm, there's a growth right outside. I feel like I've been in this one already. Mm. No clue what the code is there. Chat. We're gonna eat this. We're gonna run. We're gonna go by the talking trees. Just don't make eye contact. Not only does it freak it out, it also freaks me out. It is way too late in the day to do this. Fuck. I just now looked at the time. God damn it. We wasted an entire day. It doesn't feel like we found anything worthwhile. Oh, I hate that. I really, really dislike that. Oh, well. Oh, because we found the, uh, yeah, we found the monster they're talking about that's outside the house, but we didn't see, a, like, a house there unless we kept missing it. I feel like that's what happened, though. We might have just kept missing it. Because the wiki so far has been pretty right about a lot of things, but I know the game also does a slight bit of, uh, generation differences. Like, when you create a campaign, it generates it slightly different than other people. You know? It is much closer than we think it is, though, so maybe we do have time for stuff. I don't know. Definitely not now, but I want to just get things prepared for the next day. You know? I have two boards there. I need more wood. You need more wood. We're gonna leave this behind. I think we're just gonna straight up leave that behind. We're gonna repair this again. Um, we could make the hunting rifle, technically. Could make the hunting rifle. Um, put that away. We got a lot of rotten mushrooms in here, too. Knees just really fuck stuff up. So we should probably be making more use of that. We would have made more armor, but whoever came through the night and stole our stuff stole a lot of our shells, sadly. Unfortunately, we don't have that. We have lots of pills, even though that gives us stamina. We don't need stamina right now. We just need... I don't even know what we need anymore, y'all. I don't even know. We're going to try and eat some of this meat, though, in the night. And then... <gasps> that motherfucker stole our batteries, too. I was like, we had four, like, big batteries. Where are they? Yeah, he stole our batteries, unless they're somewhere else in the house. God damn it. I really hope the trader sells batteries, because if not, then this is just going to be dead weight. Fuck. What an asshole. Let's eat that now, because I think it's about to go bad soon. So is this one, but we're going to try and time it. We're going to try and time it as best we can, chat. We still have the one-use shotgun. 
We're gonna try and use that first before we're using our regular shotgun though. I guess we'll just get ready for the night, huh? We're not gonna board that window up though. What we are gonna do though, we have so much scrap. At least we should. I'm gonna put some more traps down. And we're gonna pray. Or at least do our darndest. I think that's acceptable. What about you guys? I think that's morally acceptable in this situation? I think so. Yeah, I mean, it's gonna go bad before the night's even here, huh? We're gonna try and time it out to the very last second. I don't know what we're gonna do doing that, but we're gonna try. It feels like I should keep at least one match on me, though. If. We're gonna use the gas bottle, you know? I don't know. We'll see. Again, I'm trying to wait till the very last second to use this mute so we can time it out well. Because even though the poisonous mushrooms and everything could lead to really good, like, grenades and all that, it's just... Ugh. I don't use them that often, that's my only issue, you know? Now we wait. Now we wait. Totally good idea if I ult tab right now real quick, right? Right? <laughs> Oh, I really hate that. We wasted an entire day looking for those pliers and we didn't find them. Because according to the wiki, there's five different pliers you can get in this area and we only need three, but that feels like the easiest one to get. It's just, we can't look up a map online because, again, randomly generated kind of deal. Like, things are placed in different locations each playthrough. So we can't rely on that. And then what is it? On top of that... Um, and then on top of that, ooh. I had lost my train of thought. <laughs> but yeah, just, uh, feels like that's the easiest one to get and everything and it would allow us to make the pump shotgun, which is going to be huge, but... Hmm. You know what else I just thought of too? Somebody's breaking down something somewhere else, but it's like where though? It's like over here? It doesn't sound close by. I wonder if they're breaking down a barricade I made somewhere else. I don't know. But um, what I just thought of too, if we make that shotgun, that's eight shotgun shells. Because if I remember correctly, when you make a gun on this game and everything, you get a full magazine of ammo. Oh, God. Is it weird to think that I hate when the dogs go through the traps? Because those are like so easy to deal with. I'd rather like something big. It's been a minute since I've seen one of you guys. How you doing, Skelly? Hope you're having a wonderful day today. What are y'all breaking down? Now you're breaking down that. I get that. Awfully rude, though, I gotta say. Sorry, buddy. Alright, I can 
Let's see, everybody wants to step into my traps today. I mean, it's good. That's working. You know? I'm going to keep that. Reason why we're going to keep that. Is worst case scenario, we have to make new weapons. We use the sticks to do so. I think a mushroom spread right there, but we don't need mushrooms anymore. Hello? Hello? It's Kelly Cutie Patu, she is. Go to a guy saying horrible things on my instant post, but fuck it, we ball. Yeah, that guy's a piece of shit, anyways. We don't have time or energy to waste it on people like that, you know? Nor do you deserve it. Feels like the nights are getting longer. I don't know why I thought, like, it's like, what is it, Five Nights at Freddy rules? 6 a.m. and everything? We're safe. Also, I just noticed the time fucking zooms at night, huh? It's like three, like three minutes in game is like one second IRL or something like that. Hello there. You can't make me waste my durability. Oh shit. Ooh. Kobe. Oh my, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realize there were that many dogs outside. But they didn't know, though. I got that dog in me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. God. All right. Do you sell? You do sell batteries. Thank fucking God. Um, here, just have this. And this. Uh, I gotta go make some space. I'll be right back. I'm gonna put this back in here. This there. This there. So that flashlight's good to go. Man, I can't believe that guy stole all of our fucking uh, batteries too. That really blows. That really blows. Oh well. Uh, this in there. Put this in there. I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna leave the sticks out here. Yeah, okay, we're gonna bring the gas bottle and flares. I'm trying to think of things we need to bring for this journey. I wish we could bring armor, but we just don't have any, unfortunately. Oxygen tank we need. Okay. And then the torch here is in case we come across any bugs or what is it? An infestation we have to burn away, you know? So before we go anywhere, let's sell the fabric because we have no use of fabric anymore. It's very good reputation. And another metal pipe. We always need that. We need now more wood. Uh, always get the ammo. Get another one of these. Oh, um, get this. No room. Okay. Again, we're buying the medium caliber bullets, even though we, I, I really don't see myself getting the actual hunting rifle. As wasteful as I'm sure that seems. Trying to be realistic here. Even if it's not the greatest thing to be realistic about. We have pause timer now, so we're going to make use of that. Man, it feels like yesterday in game and all that went by so quickly. Like ridiculously quick. Those footprints mock me. 
And I honestly, I think seven open spots like this is going to be more than enough because this is going to get tossed when we use it anyways, you know? This... We should. We should fix it. Even though there's barely any damage. If we're going to be going into, like, a spot that I'm assuming is going to be dangerous, I think it's going to be best to just be fully durable, you know? All right. So I think we're ready to go take on the day, huh? I really wish we could find the pliers over here, but I don't know where this house is that the wiki's talking about. So I'm going to say fuck it, and we're just going to go straight for the uh, basement. Maybe on the way out, we'll check again if we have time, but I really want to spend the day focusing on going through the water down there. You know? How you doing? I'm doing well. How you doing, Tyler? Hope you're having a wonderful day today. Because the wiki said down here there's a chomper that's like filled with the black substance and everything that is guarding essentially a house that is a corpse and what's it called? It has a corpse and a wardrobe with the wardrobe having fabric and then the corpse having a plier. We need one more plier to max out our workbench, which means we get really big stuff. Thing is, we found a couple buildings near here with gross outside that seem to have a corpse and... What's it called? A corpse and a uh, wardrobe, but... I mean, this isn't a wardrobe. That's a shelf, so that is different. Oh. I don't know. I don't know, chat. Because this is where I fought the chomper, too. So I'm guessing it would be around here, but... And again, there's growths. I'm assuming is what the wiki meant. That's the chomper we killed. So I can only imagine it's this, right? But how do we get to that? Maybe it requires us breaking down... Like, breaking it down, you know? Gangnam style. <laughs> yeah, my guess though is that we'd have to break down this. Get to it, but... Again, I don't want to waste so much durability just to get screwed over. So, we're just going to move on. So I'm already getting sidetracked. Because if we get those pliers, not only can we fully max out, upgrade all of our melee weapons, but we can also make the pump action shotgun, which is the best gun in the game. From my understanding. It holds eight shotgun shells at a time. Eight shotgun shells at a time and everything. Um, and shotguns one hit kill like most things, feels like. <gasps> Wait, wardrobe with fabric. And a lottery ticket. Is there a body in here? Oh, Chad, we voted. And a sickle, which we might drop. Chad, I always knew I can find it all along. No doubt at all in my mind. Unfallible fortress in this head of mine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> in fact, I was about to give up and move them. <laughs> You're just playing some Remnant 2. Nice. How are you liking Remnant? I loved Remnant 2. It was such a huge upgrade from the first game that I was pleasantly blown away. By, like, all of it. Like, the first game I enjoyed, but I definitely saw some rough edges. And when I heard there was a second one being made, I'm like, okay, it's probably going to be more or less the same thing. But no, I played it, beat it, and oh my god. Okay. Okay. That's the one we can't get in through. Shit, there's another one I know we can get through. That's the thing. And I know I sound like I'm panicking, but I'm just trying to rush to get indoors. Because I don't remember if it pauses time when we get down in the basement. So I'm trying to get to the basement with the idea that we might not have that much time, you know? So fun. It really is. I want to look at the timer. I'm going to wait here for a second. Because usually it pauses time when you're in instances like this. Okay, it is. Ooh, thank God. So now we can take it easy. If I remember correctly, we come all the way over here, and then there's this. Yes. 
And before the game's like, yeah, you didn't put on the oxygen tank, so you died. <laughs> That'd be funny. Biggest issues getting lost. Oh yeah, those maps can be big. And with how they randomly generate as well. I get it. Or not randomly, is it procedurally? One of them. Huge rusty barrel, judging by the smell, it contains a lot of good gasoline inside. Ooh. I guess that's the game's way of being like, if you have empty bottles, you can fucking go off your king. Oh, I don't have any items. Are we in a dream? Wait, we're in a- we're dreaming while swimming? That doesn't seem very safe. Before we're drowning. Please help, I'm under the water. This is gonna be some PT shenanigans. Oh, it's drained. Oh. Chat, do we open the door? Do we keep whoever is out there out? Because they were hitting the door first. They didn't sound too nice. Could be a chopper. Yeah. Hmm. 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 I don't want to open it, to be honest. Army's wondering if we have to now, though. <laughs> Hello? Alright. What's in the box? Alright, so chat, what is this all supposed to represent? You guys know? Is this a message uh, talking about the prevalence of loot boxes causing the downfall of gaming as we all know it? <laughs> I'm being a little shit. <laughs> oh. Thank you for the axe. Uh, why? Why'd you give me a nice axe, hmm? Hmm? Here's Johnny. Game, what are you, what are you trying to tell me right now? I'm gonna keep looking at that until it tells me something different. So it doesn't go anywhere, so let's save the torch. Who's in here? Make sure barricade blocking the entrance to the basement. Someone or something is trying to break through from the other side. that's moving you can keep it I insist excuse me sorry everybody oh this torch is infinite too oh we bougie as hell here huh sorry everybody I just I just need to get up sorry sorry excuse me that's a lot of bodies huh What if there's like a trip mechanic, like Super Smash Brothers Brawl, just running over bodies, chance to trip, just look. Well, if we look away, it's like they're not even there, you know? They don't make... Yeah, these are really good roommates, I gotta say. I'm sure they probably stink a little, 
but they keep to themselves. They don't make much noise. They don't take up much space. And if you don't look at them, it's like they're not even there. Uh-oh. Chat. Uh-oh. Chat. Where's the wall going? Chat. Chat. Oh, shit. Away. Away. Don't touch me. I don't know you. Don't get... Leave me alone! Demon! Hmm. Hmm. Did I lose? Did I do the wrong thing? Did I flub it or was I meant to? It was rigged from the start, Rigby. <laughs> Nice hole. Thanks. Another one of the red lights, but are they good though? I really don't. Oh shit. Okay. I don't. I think that answers that question. No, oh, empty rotten wooden crates overgrown with small roots. That's a lot of space. I wish I could drag this back home. Oh, I wish I could drag this back home. Think of all the storage there, guys. Oh. Barrel's valve, or the barrel's valve is rusty, but it seems to be working, judging by the smell there's gasoline inside. Mm -hmm. Grab the valve and try to turn it with all my strength. It suddenly breaks, gasoline starts to leak out of the barrel, it slowly flows down the tunnel. And they gave me a torch. Chat, I think I know what I'm supposed to do. It looks different, it was carved up by people sloppily and hastily. The mirror closed, still hasn't collapsed yet. Uh-oh. Further part of this tunnel is blocked by rubble. Looking through a crack, I can see a giant pulsating root. Maybe I can find a way to destroy them. I'm assuming that's with the gas, right? Jesus, that thing's... Oh. Oh. Let me just make sure I have a way out so I don't, you know, kind of fuck myself over here. Yeah, and that's the way... Yeah, that's the way we couldn't go from before. Alright, so... I guess we just try and huck the torch, right? Can we even throw torches, actually? I so worry he's gonna blow up, that's why I was like, who? Burn, baby, burn! This going for no. Should we be getting out of here, chat? What if there's loot in there, though, guys? Is that fire getting bigger? Hmm. Wondering if this is going to be, like, the consequence of my actions. <laughs> really want to go see if there's a loop, but we can't go any further, right? So I guess we swim back. Do we have to go through a dream sequence each time we swim back? Alright, glad I could help. Uh, Y'all take care. Stay safe. Have fun. Uh, don't talk to strangers. They might set you on fire. Or eat your grannies. Goodbye. And they never saw Beringer again. <laughs> Gotta go. Don't look at the light, it's not good for you. Still wonder if we're gonna have consequences from eating the granny, you know? The yew tree will not yield to the flame so easily, it tries to smother the fire with its roots. It should be all over tomorrow. Alright. Chat, I think we did good! It's a little hard to hear over all the screaming, but, you know, we're the good guys, right? <laughs> Alright, what does the cripple think of this? The other cripple, that is. 
The cripple's blind eyes stare hypnotized at the huge flame consuming the tree. It's as if the old man could see everything clearly now. The orange fire illuminating or illuminates his pale, motionless face. The cripple's... Uh, yeah. Okay. Glad I could help, old man. So what do we do now? Claims I need to get to the cellar located near the tree. That's how I will find its roots. According to him, it's the only way to get rid of this abomination. So much, but we're not accustomed to it. Okay. They completely flooded. I won't be able to press any further. Okay. The old man advised me to find the elephants and obtain an oxygen tank from them. Oh shit! That's who the elephants were. Completely forgot about that. Well, that's the tree burning. Fire consumed the talking tree in its entirety. Even now, I can still hear it screaming. Seems like the cripple is right. The tree is enormous and will probably continue burning throughout the night. I will return here tomorrow. All right, I guess that's just we come back then, huh? Okay. Oh, we still got an entire day. That actually didn't take much time at all. The wreckage, I believe, needed an oxygen tank to get to as well. So we might try that. See what that has for us, you know. I also have the swamp cottage. This is probably where the elephants are. So are they just people with gas masks? Urban peace trader. Oh, I miss him still. And for it's like somebody has rummaged your things yet again. I'm waiting for that. Oh, I'm so waiting for that. Chat. We are full build. We have become a god. We have the pump action fucking shock, guys. We have become endgame. Yeah, according to online, this holds eight rounds. Or eight shells, I should say. Holds eight shotgun shells at a time. And on top of that, we can now upgrade the axe to now have less stamina usage per swing. How much does it use now? Only half of all of our stamina. Wow. What the fuck? Wow. That kind of makes sense. Okay, I can kind of get it though. Yeah, doing quick attacks, you have to exert yourself more to get it out there. So I kind of understand it, but... Uh, uh, you know... Uh. <laughs> I'll bring just one torch for now. Um, yeah, we have a pump action shotgun, guys. Holy shit. Kind of tempted to just use the round in here and then leave it, you know? <laughs> like, kind of tempted to use this as, like, a homemade shotgun for the most part. And the pump action we're going to keep here. Um, shit, this is insane. Alright, well. I, I really don't know where we go from here, to be honest. Like, do we have to wait for the tree to finish burning then to progress the story? I really don't know. I really don't know. Old? <gasps> oh, this must be what the uh, wiki was saying. There's like holes in everything. Yeah, there's like a shortcut thing similar to the first chapter. If you go to the village and everything, there's um, there's like a giant holes in everything at one part of the village and you can use that to get home quickly. And the wiki said there's something like that here. So yeah, it's on the other side. We didn't go all the way over there, did we? Maybe that's one of the maps we found. It's actually very useful if we had to go over there. Because again, the swamp is very... Not only is it big, 
but it also has a lot of water and stuff that will slow you down too so it takes forever to traverse we're full fucking build. The only thing we're missing is just armor, but motherfucker stole our goddamn shells. You stole our blue turtle shell, everybody. <laughs> it's ours. We were the ones that oh, that raised it. Thank you. Rude, that's what I'm saying, dude. That's what I'm fucking saying. Oh, Time to be baptized, I guess. Fuck him. Hold on a sec. Un momento. Un sec. One second. Okay. All Second, I'm just checking the wiki real quick. Closing any pages I don't need. Apparently, in the old shed, there's supposed to be enough stuff in there to make a hunting rifle. What the fuck? Did we find enough stuff to make a hunting rifle? find like a military assault rifle or some shit pretty bomb i don't think there's automatic weapons in this game though that was a joke that that was a joke i swear and i promise on my life i did not look up what's at the helicopter crash that was entirely a joke I should play the lotto. <laughs> Holy shit. Shoot short bursts. Wow. Okay, then. Uh, we have a military assault rifle. Why can't I reload it? Do we not grab the clip? Oh, we didn't. I thought we did. Say hello to my little friend. Pew, pew, pew. Pew, pew, pew. Yeah. Play it like Halo. Bouncing everywhere, you know? Jumping up and down, going for... Was it three tap headshot? Is that the doctor? Hmm. That looks like the doctor. Well, shit. I actually wasn't expecting to get an actual assault rifle here, but that's sick. Okay, cool. Makes sense, you know? That's why I was making that joke earlier, but... I didn't think there was actual, like... Rapid-fire weapons in this game. Was that all this had to offer? Yeah, so... Damn. Getting that oxygen tank is great. So is there a similar thing? There is, yeah. Because I think, if I remember correctly, this symbolizes something like water-wise, right? Is time passing in here? It is. Did I see something in the water? Or am I going crazy? I'm going crazy. 
Oh, shit. Well, now we have something for those medium caliber things, then. I'm pogging. I'm gonna go up here now. <laughs> so I have a feeling this will probably take me to here, right? If this is another water way. It's just, I don't know what this is. Because that got shown on the map a while ago. I'm trying to save that piece of meat I have right now. Before we get into a fight. Because it gives me armor too. And since we don't have armor, I don't want to be just two shot. Because a lot of things are hitting very hard and very quickly. And while I have a lot of firepower, I feel like a glass cannon still. Unless I eat the meat. Call me Arby's because I have the meat. I'm thinking I should probably go home to drop stuff off, but I'm worried that's going to just take more time. Because we're banking on this little thing, if that, is a, if that is a swimming hole, to be like honest. We still don't even know that. If it is a swimming hole and everything, and if it's going to be just as short as the helicopter area. That's what we're banking on. If it is, we can manage to like scrounge around through it, you know? If not, we might be screwed. We're going to keep the gun out, and we're going to use it so we don't spend too much time lollygagging. Is that the same sinkhole? No. That's a different one. Oh. I have an oxygen tank. Oh, and we skipped the whole animation. Okay. Old symbol cross covered in inscriptions. I can still decipher one of them. May you never know hunger again. Some skeletons have been pushed out of the water and are now lying in the mud. Let me try and see if I can loot them. Thought it just been burned to the ground. Anything worth it in here, though? Something just closed the door. We gotta hurry. So the military were bombing this place. Why? Is the infection? The plot thickens, John. AI is so good at keeping just out of your reach, too. Fuck me, man. Each time I go to swing, like, they stop just outside of it. The AI is smart. I gotta give it to them. Either that or I'm just dumb. Stinky. <laughs> yeah, so we're gonna use that as, like we mentioned before. Single shot. We gotta get out of here, though. I don't think there's anything else. There might be, though. I think it was just for that cottage, yeah. Alright, we gotta get home. So the military was bombing villages, or at least homes and everything here, huh? I wonder if that was because they were trying to stop the infection? Whatever this stuff is? I'm assuming it's an infection. Unless it's something paranormal, but... 
Because think about it, like, what was it? The old lady did say something, too, about, like, oh, I remember when they fenced off the uh, road, too. So, I think there was, like, military intervention, though. Hmm. Hmm. Did I leave the generator on all day? I think I did, didn't I? Oh. I am one silly goober. Keep forgetting we have that entire wardrobe there we're not utilizing. <laughs> and the generator is almost out of gas. Well, Faringer, you smart son of a bitch. In before is the person that. <gasps> what if I didn't leave it on? Instead, it was just the man who stole all my stuff. Mm hmm. I believe it. Do you believe it, chat? You believe me, right, chat? Right. Right. <laughs> Man, you know what sucks too? We had so many medium caliber magazines as well at our other place, but we left them behind because it's like, we don't know what these are used for, so fuck it. Now we do. It's for a fucking assault rifle. That sucks. Yeah, let me go fill up the gasoline. Or fill up the, uh... Yeah, that thing, you know, thing. Remember, kids, don't leave your gasoline on all day when you're not even home. Your gasoline. Don't leave your generator on. Ugh. Okay, so a full tank of gas will fill you up halfway. Got it. Um, I came back here thinking I need to grab another one, but... It's just me, or does it feel like the meat's rotting a lot slower now all of a sudden? Maybe I'm going crazy. Crazy? I was crazy once. They locked me in a room. A rubber room. A rubber room filled with mushrooms. The mushrooms are on the old lady. The old lady made me crazy. Right. Okay, chat. We're gonna do our darndest, you know? And I think... That's just good enough. What do you say, chat? Heal with me. Okay. <laughs> so I do want to rely on the traps more, but... the bear traps but i figured doing this at least will slow them down and again we'll just keep buying more wood too because we have more than enough reputation at this point we don't have anything like any big kind of items we need to get only reason we need to get more items would just be if we do a silly and uh what's it called we do a very silly thing and end up dying and losing our stuff far away we're gonna just try our best not to okay Put out the open hole because we can't actually block this up. I want to use this and then try and sell the gun itself, you know? I just got to make sure not to reload it. So now I'm going to end up doing that at some point, but you know, we'll keep them both out here. We still have this too if we need to really. Chad, I think it's time to get naughty. Yeah, because whenever this happens, it only leaves like one light on. Did you do it? Were we in the military? Hmm. Yeah, 
Oh, shit. Is that the tree taking vengeance? I'm sorry, tree. I'm not actually sorry, chat. I just realized that's the oven. So if our oven goes, are we fucked then? Do we have to leave then on this night? I can't hit that. Like, I just tried to hit that thing and it wouldn't let me. Don't touch me. I don't know if they went over my- they did go over the trap, okay. Don't touch! I can't hit them, it seems. Ow. They just don't have health bars. That's why I look like I didn't hit them. Oh my god. Whoa, what the fuck? dude they can literally trap you and just hit you to death thank god they don't do much damage cause... wait it's all good Oof. what the fuck happened We lived, but fuck. That was rough, chat. I ain't gonna lie. And the worst part is too, when they hit you as well, they lock like they flinch you and you can't do anything. Like I was getting lucky by getting like that quick swing off with the axe, but even then if I had a few of them blocking off all my routes out and I didn't hit any of them really quickly, then just it's I can get stun locked. So if I didn't eat that meat and everything, got the armor, I probably would have died there. And if I didn't take the uh, scream as well, oh my god, I would have died because it would have kept hitting me and locking me up in place. The traitor's in here either. So I guess we're in the end game then, huh? I guess all that's left then is to go to that spot. So I was gonna buy from the trader again, but they're not here. Shit. All right, well, let's grab some stuff then. I'll leave that shotgun behind.
I'm going to just bring a lot of stuff with me. In the off case, we don't come back. You know, chat? Just in case. Because I have no clue what to expect from here on. We're going to go to the break though, chat. So see you in a bit. Full diaper alchemist.
Full Diaper Alchemist. Hi, chat. We're back. We had a hell of a night. Bunch of burning bodies smacking us back and forth. But we survived. Like we always do. We stay fucking winning. <laughs> How you doing, Jay? Look at our streamer back home and don't you forget it. Has a new position, by the way, Jay. I believe you said you were going to be starting it, right? Last time when you talked about it? Oh, one second. There we go. Or internship, I believe. Was it internship? I don't know if it was internship or a position. My apologies, but I remember you saying you got like a new job and everything, but I have been and I got my first paycheck so far. Nice! Dude, let's go! How have you been enjoying it so far? Tell us all the details, if you want to, that is. If not, no worries. I'll just call Skelly Stinky is all, you know? <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> Stinky. <laughs> Hold on. Um, food items, food items, that's right. I was going to look up pills and potatoes, right? Which one's better, pills or potatoes? See. Um, stamina pills. They last for one minute, two hundred percent stamina. Okay. What about potato? They last for only thirty seconds and give sixty-six point six percent. Okay. So I'm trying to figure out which food items would be good to keep. Oh, that motherfucker took my fish too, didn't he? I just realized we don't have that fish anymore. Fuck. Oh, I hate that person, whoever it is. Oh, I hate him. Oh, I hate him. We only have one thing of bread, right? So I was going to try and buy a few other things too, but... Oh, uh, that's 66.6, .6, but for two minutes. Because hmm. again, I'm going in with the idea that we're not going to be coming back here. So I'm thinking like maybe I should just grab a bunch of my shit and get ready to go, you know? What do you think, chat? You think that's smart? Or do you think it's silly? Yeah, we'll see, I guess. We'll see what happens. Because nobody came up to me and gave me a warning, but... I mean, seeing how there's no traitor at all, we did a big thing which caused havoc in the night. I'm guessing we're in the end game. Air trap. Let's go see the force, guys. God, it is so fucking ominous. Man, the atmosphere in this game. It, oh. No other games come close. Ashes? Uh-oh. It worked. Only ashes remain of the tree. I feel I'm approaching the end of my journey. Is it possible? Where's the cripple? Unless that's the cripple, but that looks like an animal. Uh, Part-time, but it's been work from home with the company my mom works at. Nice, dude. Yeah, with my money, I'm working out at the gym and hiring personal trainer. Let's go. Jay, I'm really proud of you, bud. Genuinely. Sounds like things are going really well for you, and I'm so glad to hear that. I really am. Be your best, bud, and enjoy. You've earned it. We always silly out here 100%. Exactly. Skelly fucking gets. We stay silly. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Guys, are we at the end? Are we actually going to beat a game on this channel? What? <laughs> Burn the talking tree. 
شيء من الله I'm not moving. I'm kind of glad I got all of, like, a lot of goodies. I know we left behind the assault rifle, but, like, eh. I don't need so many guns on me at the moment, to be honest. At least I feel like I don't need it, especially with the pump shotgun. kind of wish I got the uh, assault rifle earlier, though. I would have loved to use it running around. We're on the road. Oh, my God. Pillars goo sips from the cracks in the asphalt. multiple torches and we're taking those oh what the fuck wait is that the cripple it's a crippled old man from the village hello would you like help i mean i could help you i think the road home I just watch him? Just make sure he's okay? He's gonna take forever, huh? Why are there, like, people frozen in place? You good back there, old man? Alright. Jesus. Like, what happened to them if they're, like, frozen place just walking? Because they're, like, some of them look casually walking, too. Some of them are, like, the wild men. Some look normal. I hope the cripple makes it out okay. Hmm. Going through the nice little, nice little forest here. It looks too nice. That's the thing that's making me uncomfy. Like, ugh, I'm uncomfy. This game's not supposed to be nice and cheery. Hmm. Well, epilogue. <gasps> we made it out. We made it out of the woods, everybody. Oh my fucking god. So I guess that's the boss fight then, just surviving that last night, huh? Let's, we're not out of the woods just yet. <laughs> Get it, because we're in yeah, dark woods. Ow. <clears throat> Chapter 2. Chat, you think I'm funny, right? <laughs> right? わしの名は嫌いを仕掛け年齢三十三歳自宅は森王朝北東部の別荘地帯にあり結婚はしていない仕事は亀雄チェーン店の会社員で毎日遅くとも夜八時までには帰宅するタバコは吸わないうんフル
why is there a 3D object in my dark wood? Which honestly is actually kind of cool usage there. Like one of the only 3D objects, like true 3D objects, I think at least. And it ends up being when you get out back to civilization. I think that's actually pretty fitting. Oh my god. Rude but funny? Wait, what? Rude but funny? What do you mean? Uh huh. And they're gone. Sorry. Who's gonna eat the bread now? I will happily take it. Can I get some bread? Let me get to the bread. Sweet bread. Show me the bread. My first sore neighbor? Really? Good day to you, good day. We really just gonna act like nothing happened to us. We just gonna compartmentalize all the trauma, huh? This is my staircase. Boss. Why are we here? Just to suffer. Where can my kid? The hell away. Yeah, yeah, get... Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I like how I'm playing it like a survival game and the game's triggering me like, what are you doing? <laughs> Raphael fight wasn't too bad. Eldritch Blast on his pillars was got some nice. Doo -doo -doo. <laughs> she did not like shrieking Legiana though. Yeah, a lot of people don't. He's talking about the cringe block. Ah, oh, okay. <laughs> Pleased to see you, mister. I haven't seen you in a while. Oh, so good to see you. Been gone for a fucking month. At least somebody was too lazy to bring it down the stairs and throw it in the trash. Being able to do six Eldritch Blasts the turn was great. I can imagine. Holy shit. Sorry, it seems to be blocked from the other side. That's something you don't want to see when you're, you know, quote unquote safe. Are we home? Are we... Is that... No fooling? Home sweet home? It's my wardrobe. Chat. I was ready to start swinging. Oh my god, this game's doing a good job at really, you know, giving you that whole fucking PTSD feeling right now. Yeah, and there's just fabric in here, which, you know, to me, I'm like, oh, that's rare. But then it's like, wait, it's just, it's just at home. No goblins, no ghouls? Triggering leggy is not fun. It is certainly a time. Where would I pick it up to if I don't have a... Okay. We made it home, guys. Some numbers lying on the table. I made you some soup. Eat it up. What? Old trusty gas stove. There's still some soup in the pot. The smell fills the entire kitchen. I grab the largest dish from the closet under the sink and pour myself a bowl. It's not much, but it's enough. 
I don't remember the last time I've eaten a home dinner. That looks really fucking good. I'd eat the shit out of that. Let me turn the stove off. That's making me anxious. I've almost burnt down so many houses in Project Zomboid leaving stoves on. It's my bed. The white crumpled sheets look as if I've just woken up. At last. I feel my sore legs buckling underneath me, my body becoming heavy and overwhelmingly lethargic. It was a grueling journey, 27 days of human torment. A sedating warmth washes over me, a warmth of security and happiness. The rustle of the woods stretching away to the horizon kept the stranger awake for a long time. Eventually fatigue washed over him and the man fell into a deep, much desired dream. Burning the tree opened the road home for many anguished inhabitants of the forest. Only three outcasts dressed in old rags and scraps lamented over its charred remains. The wolf made a triumphant return to his hideout, his ego growing even bigger as he basked in the glow of his loot. Oh, he's the motherfucker who stole my stuff, go figure. However, the sweetness of this victory was not able to satisfy his single deepest desire. That piece of shit. Before the villagers left their homes in search of food, they rushed into the hut of the woman living with the chickens to reinvigorate themselves before the journey. They did not satisfy their hunger completely, but nevertheless they left quite content. The chicken lady, deprived of the company of her beloved chickens, filled with excruciating despair and burning hatred towards the villagers, stayed in the abandoned village and continued tending to her sister. However, her determination was not met with appreciation. After many weeks of fighting off starvation, the chicken lady died, thus becoming her beloved sister's final meal. To her own devices, the chicken lady's sister freed herself and set out to hunt for fresh meat. Piotrick rose above the treetops in his rocket, made out of scrap. He smiled as, peeking through the small plastic window of his spaceship, he saw the Milky Way stars moving away at huge speed. Aww. Living with her two children in the barricaded cottage at the swamp, looked out for her missing son for many days. One day, she heard a voice coming from the four steps. Eventually, her longing for the child won over her fear of trees. The woman closed the other children in the house with food provisions for a couple days and set out into the woods, listening for distant calls.
The strange inhabitant of the hut at the chuckyard spent a long time on its roof, basking in the sun. But the voices coming from inside did not give him peace, so he crawled down the roof, and since his limbs went numb from lying on the hard tiles, he stumbled and fell face down in the mud. In the pool he saw his reflection, a huge head of a snail. He then thought that he's never had such a strange dream before, and he wished to wake up. Snail? Okay, we must have missed some characters then. Shit. So the mother, I'm assuming, is the mother of the kid. And we found the kid, we just didn't find the family, I guess. And whoever that snail person is, I just fucking know. <laughs> yeah, we missed a huge section of the swamp, though, but... Hmm. What a fucking game. What a fucking game. Like, there's a bodyguard? Sierra, is it? Sierra? Isn't that the name of the dog, though? Hmm. What a game. All right. Well, chat, what did we think? We won the woods. We beat the woods. We made the woods our bitch. We called it stinky. Threw a couple Molotovs, you know, set fire to something. We made it out. <laughs> what are you guys talking about, chat? What is it? In the menu for Modern Warfare 3 zombies, so I got the zombie snooze going on and oddly fits. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Essentially, like round 55 zombies. Uh, oh, yeah, with Modern Warfare 3 and like making everything based around Warzone. Mm. <laughs> Excuse me. What a good game, though. I'm so glad I finally got a chance to actually finish it, though, after all these years. We beat Darkwood. We fucking did it, everybody. We beat Darkwood. Oh. Yeah, overall, a really good game, though. I love the tension and atmosphere that comes throughout, like, the entire journey and everything. Such a fun time. Such a fun time. Man, some parts they get pretty rough though. Some parts they get pretty rough. Especially what was it? Finding the doctor and everything in the train and all that? Oh my god. What a time. But yeah, what's it called? I think with that though, we're gonna call it here, guys. We're gonna call it here. And with that being said, now that we finished up Darkwood, we're gonna work on finishing Dead Space. I'm guessing maybe one or two streams of that. Depending on how long it takes to beat it. We'll see. Um, but yeah, after that's being, we're going to go back to just, you know, figuring out the weekends, either being Sunbreak or I don't know. I'm torn between either doing like both weekend days being Sunbreak again or doing something like Saturday still being Saturday Sunbreak, right? But then having Sunday be... I'm wondering if I want to do like a whole return to other Monster Hunter games during Sundays, but we'll see. I don't want to be bouncing around games all the time, you know, but we'll figure out what we're going to do, though, going from there. With that being said, thank you guys so much, so much for joining me on this journey. It was such a blast. I hope you guys had fun, too, you know, even if we had to eat some grannies along the way. With that being said, though, if you guys haven't already, be sure to join me on the Discord. Join the Discord server, hang out with other people that like Monster Hunter just as much, if not more than I do. Hang out after stream and getting updates on the stream. Socials as well, YouTube for VODs, Twitter for shitposting, and TikTok for funny little clips that I also make it on the YouTube. With that being said, I'm going to throw you guys over to Father Kurai. I haven't gotten a chance to raid him in a long time, so this is exciting for me. Be sure to go give him the same amount of love you guys give me. He's playing Lethal Company, another horror game, but it's also funny as hell. And with that, I'll see you guys... Hopefully tomorrow at 11 a.m. Eastern with some more Monster Hunter stories too. Bye bye. Full Diaper Alchemist.